Let's learn about solar system. The sun, planets, asteroids, comets, and meteorites. The sun is a giant star. It's the largest object in our solar system. The sun is the center of our solar system. The sun generates solar energy. All planets orbit the sun. Let's study planets. Goody, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are terrestrial planets. These planets have no ring. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are Jovian planets. They are gas giants and ice planets. These planets have a ring. They are farther from the sun. Earth is where we live. Earth sustains life. It's the only known planet to do so. Earth has life because it has. Air, water, soil, and this the right temperature. Now it's sister's turn. Goody. Meteoroids are small solid bodies floating in space. They are made of rock, iron, or nickel. Meteoroids move around the sun together with asteroids and comets. Meteors are also known as shooting stars. Meteors are meteoroid fragments that end up in Earth's atmosphere. They burn brightly in the atmosphere, creating a bright light. Meteorites are meteoroid fragments that did not burn but landed on Earth. These meteorites create craters, some as wide as one kilometer. Comets are lumps of ice, rock, or dust that orbit the sun. The comet has a head and a tail. The comets glow because of the light reflected from the sun. Asteroids are giant space objects. They are bigger than meteoroids but smaller than planets. Asteroids orbit the sun. In an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Pansper, did you know that it takes a full year, 365 days, for the Earth to orbit around the Sun? Goody. Let's learn about herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Animals fall into three groups based on what they eat. Plant eaters are herbivores. Meat eaters are carnivores. Plant and meat eaters are omnivores. Let's talk about herbivores. Any animal that eats only plants will be classified as a herbivore. Herbivores animals are giraffe, zebras, and deer. For example. Let's talk about carnivore. Any animals that only eats meat is classified as a carnivore. Carnivores often have sharper teeth or even fangs to help tear out flesh. Scary. Carnivores animals are lions, tigers, and leopards, for example. Let's talk about omnivores. Any animal that can eat both plants and animals is an omnivore. People are omnivores. Omnivores animals include monkeys, turtles, and bears, like me. Hello. Let's explore heights. Hyde has fascinated 
explorers throughout history. It is not easy to climb to high mountains. It can be really dangerous. The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. It is 8,848. The world is Mount. That is the cruising altitude of an airplane. Everest is over 60 million years old. That's really old. It's old as dinosaurs. The mountain was formed by the movement of tectonic plates. Did you know that Everest is still growing by about a quarter of an inch every year? The highest part of the mountain, or the summit, is covered with deep snow all year long. Climbing Everest is really dangerous. Ice cold winds and thin air with really little oxygen means you really need the right equipment. People had tried to climb Mount Everest since 1930 or even before. Sir Edmund Hillary and his Sherpa Tenzin Norgay conquered the top of the world on 29 of May 1953. What is a Sherpa? A Sherpa is a Tibetan ethnic who native to Nepal. They help guide the climber up the Everest. The term Sherpa comes from the Sherpa language. Word Xiao meaning east, and Pa meaning people. 1953 was a long time ago. Last time the climbing equipment was not as sophisticated as today. So it was a great accomplishment. Climbers try to reach the summit every year, but not everyone will make it to the top. There are many tall mountains in the world. Let's look at some of the tallest peaks. On top of the world, you have a great view in every direction. Goody! Climbing up needs precision and the right weather. There's a risk of avalanche, snowstorm, and ice cold winds. So you can only climb to the top at the right time. There's only few of these times every year. But it's getting dark now. We better climb back down. Wow, that was exciting! See you again! Goody! Hello! Did you know that 71% of Earth is covered with water? Oceans make the most of this. Deep sea is like deep space, but this underwater and not in space. Deep sea is a home for magnificent creatures. These creatures live so deep that you need a special submarine to find them. The deepest dive ever was over 10,000 meters in the Pacific Ocean. There are not many submarines that can go deeper than 1,000 meters. There's a lot of pressure in the deep sea. The pressure can crash divers and submarines. Oh no! That's why special equipment is needed. Let's go! Different deep sea creatures live at different depths. Jellyfish! Cockadoo squid! Googly eye glass squid! Black eye squid! Black devil Fish, scary Pacific wiper fish. Oh no, Dumbo octopus. Haha, <laughs> silly. Helmet jelly can live at deep as 7,000 meters underwater. It's really dark in the deep sea. That's why we don't know much about it. 
But sea creatures here don't mind the dark. It's a little scary. Let's go back up. That was exciting. What's your favorite deep sea creature? Goody. How's the weather today? Sunny. Cloudy. It's a rainy day in Berry Mountain. Pants Bear and the rest of the Bear family are at home, enjoying a family evening safe and sound in their living room. But Pants Bear is restless. He wants to go out to play. What's wrong, Pants Bear? Why do we have to stay indoors? Why can't we go out to play? Silly pants bear. It's raining outside, and by the sound of it, it seems that there's a thunderstorm coming in. It's not safe to be playing outside during thunderstorms. Why? Well, if you stay in the rain for too long, you might catch a cold. But the real danger is with the storm. Thunderstorms can be unpredictable. No. Pants Bear, come out. It's safe now. The lightning won't hurt us here. But being outside right now could be really dangerous. Why, Papa? Well, lightning is an electric current. Within a thundercloud, way up in the sky, many small bits of ice, frozen raindrops, bump into each other as they move around in the air. All of those collisions create an electric charge. During a big storm like this, those storm clouds create a negative charge. And when objects on the ground, such as trees or earth, charge positively, zap, lightning strikes. Huh? I don't get it, Papa. Have you ever shuffled your feet on a carpet and then touched a metal door handle? You could get shocked. Lightning works in the same way, Pants Bear.
it's been an exciting evening. I think we all deserve a good cup of hot cocoa. Ready! <laughs> Silly Pants Bear. Let's learn about senses. Our senses help us understand what's happening around us. Hearing? What we hear will change into vibrations that then convert to a signal that reach our brain. Can you identify this sound? Birds! Touch! Touch receptors respond to any element that touches the skin. This pillow is as soft as marshmallows. Careful guys, that drink is still hot. Sight. Our eyes help us see different color, shapes and sizes around us. Wow, rainbow! Red apple. Yum, yum. Taste the food we eat with our tongue. Goody, sweet. Sour. Salty. Bitter. Smell. Our nose lets us smell. And it's a big part of why we are able to taste it. The nose is also the main gate for breathing. This flower smells so nice. Ew, that doesn't smell nice. Goody, let's recap. Hearing. Stay safe on the road and buckle up! Pants Bear and the rest of the Bear family are going out of town. Pants Bear, are you ready to go? Yes! City Pants Bear, time to go everyone. What's wrong Pants Bear? It's time to go. Why do I have to sit in the baby seat and wear a seatbelt? Silly Pants Bear, the seat and seatbelt are a must. We can't move unless you wear a seatbelt. Why? The seatbelt is for your protection. When you grow up, you can sit without the seat, but the seatbelt you need to wear whenever you are in a car. Pants Bear is still not happy, but Papa Bear has an idea. Have you heard of Buckle Up Bear? Huh? Buckle Up Bear? Yes. Buckle Up Bear teaches how important it is to buckle up and stay safe on the road. Buckle Up Bear always says it's a must that every bear, young or old, wears a seatbelt and stays safe on the road. Wow, Papa! I want to meet Buckle Up Bear! <laughs> It's not easy to see Buckle Up Bear. He's a very busy bear. But if you buckle up and make sure your brother and sister do the same, I am sure Buckle Up Bear would be proud of you. Goody! <laughs> Silly Pants Bear. Pants Bear can't wait to meet Buckle Up Bear. Let's learn shapes! Goody! <laughs> Circle Square Triangle Rectangle Star Heart Oval Diamond Pentagon Hexagon Square Try. 
triangle, rectangle, star, heart, oval, diamond, pentagon, hexagon, Let's learn compound words. Arm and chair. Arm chair. Bath and tap. Bath tap. Camp and fire. Campfire. Dragon and fly. Dragon fly. Ear and ring. Earring. Foot and ball, football. Gold and fish, goldfish. Hot and dog, hot dog. Inch and worm, inchworm. Jelly and fish, jellyfish. Key and board, keyboard. Light and house, lighthouse. Mail and box, mailbox. Note and book, notebook. Over and time, overtime. Pan and cake, pancake. Quick and sun, quick sun. Rain and bow, rainbow. Space and ship, spaceship. Tea and cup, tea cup. Up and down, uptown. Volley and ball, volleyball. Wheel and chair, wheelchair. Year and book, yearbook. Zoo and keeper, zookeeper. Goody, now it's your turn. Facts of the world. 
Australia. Canada. China. Finland. France. Germany. Greece. India. Indonesia. Italy. Japan. South Korea. Malaysia. Singapore. Switzerland. United Kingdom. United States of America. Goody. Now it's your turn. Well done. Goody. Let's learn about rhyming words. Yay! What are rhyming words? Rhyming words are two or more words that have the same or similar ending sound. Here are some examples. Tree Tree Lock Sock Rake Cake Jam Yam Goody! Let's play a game! Yay! Take a guess and see if these words rhyme. Rhyme. 
Tent. Pie. He's silly. These words don't rhyme. Rat. Cat. These words rhyme. Dog. Map. Silly. These words don't rhyme. Bear. Chair. These words rhyme. Well done.